side strategy is a uh, strategy I've used for many years to trade mutual funds. It's had a very good return. It has been uh, a bit of a bull market for the past seven years, but I believe it will work in any market. And with mutual fund investing, you're usually looking for the long term, and that plays well into this. And uh, in a bad market, it really just stops generating profit. Uh, you keep contributing like you do with the mutual funds, so you're contributing over time. And it's just a strategy I use to uh, kind of very gradually, very gently suck the profits out. If a cannonball hits a ship above the waterline, the ship can continue fighting. It can sail back to port, it can fix the hole, and it can sail again another day. If a cannonball goes below the waterline, it sinks the ship. And that's kind of the strategy behind the waterline strategy. I developed this strategy. I've been using it for many years. It's been very, very successful for me. Uh, it has been a bull market for the past seven years and it has done particularly well then, but I'm confident that it will work in any market. The first thing you need to calculate uh, in order to execute the waterline strategy is uh, the momentum. I use that I uh, calculate that by using moving averages. Uh, there might be an easier way to find them. I happen to have created a Google spreadsheet that uh, does it all for me automatically. Uh, many years ago, I've just used it ever since. If you can find a place to uh, get your own moving averages, that's probably way easier. So there's a simple formula to get a, a price so you don't have to go look at the prices or anything. And this is a more complex formula that calculates a moving average. I believe this does uh, 10 days. So I have a 10 day moving average. And then this is the 30 day moving average. And then I relate the two together to calculate momentum. Uh, by dividing the 10 by the 30 day moving average, subtracting that by one, I'm left with a percentage. If the 10 day, if the price is moving up, trending upwards, the percentage will be a percentage, a positive percentage increase. So that's all I needed to do. I want to know how far away from the 30 day average, the 10 day average is getting and if it's in the right direction. And once I have that calculation, I can rank every single one of the mutual funds in order based on their momentum. And that leaves me with this. I just made up these fun names, for example. <clears throat> but this is how many I, I, I'm currently involved with. And now by measuring momentum, uh, upward momentum, I'm, I'm re falsely rewarding the more volatile funds. So what I will do is flag the bottom five, 20% of the portfolio, and I'll go back the following period and make sure all of those are marked. Periods. So basically I do this weekly. So I'll look back the, to the past month and anything that was down here will be flagged. That way these positions will, are ranked on upward momentum and if they just go up and down, they end up on these two ends. They end up in the extremes because they're going up and down and the stable stuff stays in the middle. Well, by flagging them when they come down here, they don't get purchased when they get up here. Next thing you do is download the information from your brokerage, the market value, and the unrealized gains. So this shows what's up and what's down uh, based on it. it's a percentage. So I've recorded the bottom five. These five will be flagged and they will not be purchased for the next month. Now I sort by market value. This is the smallest position on here. So I calculate the waterline as this times 25%. So 
everything below this number is too small to be sold. So it gets sheltered. Then I sort it by unrealized gains. So all of these are in the black and all of these are red. In the case of a bad market, they'd all be red and I wouldn't sell anything. That's how, that's how this investment works. So I have this many opportunities that are in the black and I flag the ones that are below the waterline. And now I put it back in momentum and I go to the very bottom and this is the one that I sell and this is the one these are the ones that I buy I'll check each one of these if it's on my list of things that have been flagged in the past month if it is I will skip it and go to the next one I'll skip it go to the next one oh, there's a good one I'll buy it I'll buy it I'll buy it so I'll buy these I'll push the money in here and I'll pull the money from here and I realize that a fraction that gain. And when I say pull the money from here, I usually take 25% of it. So I'll find out that this is $26 a share. Say it's a made up ticker symbol. So there's 230 shares. So I'll sell 57 shares. So I, I buy these if they're not flagged and I sell 57 shares of this. And the following week, I repeat. So if the stuff is getting sold, it might fall below the waterline, in which case it would be sheltered. And if the stuff, if the market goes down or if the investment goes down, it, it also is sheltered. The only targets are the ones that can take, can take a hit. They're above the waterline. Because of the diversification of the asset classes, there's always something going up when something's going down. So it does tend to be rather resilient in different and various market conditions. Uh, it very seldom has absolutely cool periods, but uh, has had the benefit of a long bull market. The yields are all over the place, but the revenue stream and the realized gains are consistent.